Stephen explored using the basic geometric shapes of the triangle and square to create a stable three-dimensional structure with an inside and outside. He noticed that the square wobbled, but the triangle held its shape. Stephen realized that by adding a stick as a diagonal across the square, the two resulting triangles were stable in two dimensions and had a hinge in three dimensions. He then added another stick to join the top points of the two hinged triangles, creating a four-triangle tetrahedron, the simplest three-dimensional structure. Stephen observed that with these few elements, he had divided space into an inside and an outside. Triangles are both the simplest shape in geometry and the only shape that is inherently structural. When you apply force to a triangle, it's evenly distributed among all three edges and all three vertices which results in holding their shape even when force is applied. We can use this structural property of two-dimensional triangles to create the simplest three-dimensional structure in universe, the tetrahedron. Stephen read in Synergetics, a geometry book by Buckminster Fuller, about the smallest volume tetrahedron. Stephen then understood that, in the geometry of tetrahedron, the force vector that is the distance from one vertex to any other vertex could be the smallest length in universe, the Planck length. Therefore, the smallest volume in universe could be a tetrahedron with edge vectors equal to the Planck length, with the tetrahedron as the simplest structure in universe with an inside and an outside. Stephen realized that with the Planck length as the vector length, this structure may have unique properties. As his understanding deepened, Stephen contemplated the significance of this simple structure defining a dimensional boundary condition between the quantum and classical models of universe. The tetrahedron with vector of Planck length exemplifies decoherence, in which a system's behavior changes from quantum mechanics to classical mechanics. Stephen pondered the implications of this decoherent node in a universe that both allowed volume, length, distance, space, and time, and was simultaneously beyond volume and length with no distance, no space, no time. Perhaps properties of this minimum volume tetrahedron at the boundary of the quantum and classical models could be a key for deeper understanding of other decoherent puzzles such as quantum entanglement or the energy field that gave birth to our universe.